Typical day? I would like to say there is a typical day. <laughs> the radios are always busy, the phones are always busy. The multitasking in the OCC is to the 10th power. 305, good afternoon. You are clear for the West Ladder and back to storage track two, Charlie and Couple. Pretty much what an air traffic controller is for airplanes is what we do for trains. He's supposed to be on 21. I'm going to have him hold for his time out here at Gov Center. I think you could cut in maybe around 5th and Sheridan. We're 911 for bus, so it's just like you calling for police. Our operators call us for the help. We have approximately four dispatchers in the room at once, and during that time, we deal with the whole city. We are responsible for all our operators out on the road. Every bus that you see, we are their link whether it be for safety, for service help, customer help. 635, I'm gonna put you on ice for just a minute and I'll call you right back in a few to activate the train order. The number one reason for delays is safety. If we cannot safely get a train through an area, regardless of the reason, we won't move trains. We're dealing with police, fire, medical, trying to stay out of their way so they can do their jobs efficiently. So there's a lot going on all at once when they just think their bus is late or we're not thinking to fill that service, but we really are. It's been pretty tough um, since 2017. The unprecedented amount of snow, ice, protests, rain. It's been a little bit tough for transit and we really appreciate the public's patience. I know the operators really endeavor to try to get people where they need to go and it's our responsibility to try to get vehicles out there to provide that service.